Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and as it is the 1st of April I believe when I'm uploading this I am going to be doing my March favourites for you um, as my February favourites didn't have a lot of stuff in it I thought why not do quite a bit of stuff in my March favourites so I hope you guys enjoy some of the stuff is from New York um, as I did get quite a lot of stuff and I have been loving it so much so I feel like I need to talk about it a lot on my channel so I'm sorry if you're like oh you've mentioned it so many times but I'm gonna do it anyway this is Stephanie Pratt's book um, Made in Reality uh, she was in The Hills and in Made in Chelsea she's still in the Made in Chelsea I think and her book is amazing Honestly, her life has been like such a journey throughout the years of her childhood and I really feel like even if you don't watch The Hills or Made in Chelsea, you need to purchase this book because it is so inspirational, the stuff that she's been through. Well, it's not inspirational, the stuff that she's done, but the stuff that has been through to get her to where she is today was so far from where I've got up to from the book it's inspirational these were bound to be mentioned in my March favourites and these are my Tony Moly uh, face sheet masks I used the aloe vera one and I wanted to show you these ones um, I haven't used these yet but I used all the aloe vera ones um, just to show you what they look like but honestly, these are amazing. They make my face feel so fresh and lovely and silk and smooth after you apply them. I can't recommend any other place. I don't think they're that expensive either for sheet masks. I know I got one in my birch box and that I wanted to purchase another one and I looked it up and it was something like £24 for two, which is so expensive. So these are like something like $7 for two which is like five pound, I'm not even sure. But yeah, and is I got these in Sephora. If you watch my New York City haul, um, these were in there. This is amazing, a alcohol and perfume free and no rubbing, um, which is perfect makeup remover. And it's two in one, so it does the eyes and the face. And I couldn't find any other makeup brand that done that, and that was Garnier and this has been amazing i use it with um the cotton wool pads these are just from tesco's but it's removed so much makeup but i don't just do this every night i do my clinique stuff so if you watch my daily skincare routine you would know what i do every night i'll leave everything all the videos that i mentioned below by the way carrying on with the whole skincare thing of course i'm going to mention my clinique three type three steps to perfect skin clinique one and i have type 2 skin and which is dry combination i'm i don't know if you can see but i'm gaining dry patches right now which i get quite often when it's quite like a temperature change in the uk and i feel like these have really helped my skin and i haven't found any other product that has worked so well it's a little on the pricey side but if you can afford it, even if it's a one-off, I really do recommend it. I know my ones came with uh, three smaller sizes for travelling, but I don't think they do those in the UK. So if you're in America, um, they do do them with the three smaller sizes as well in the package. And I've just been using cotton wool pad, um, cotton wool balls for the... Um, clarifying lotion in this another thing i've been loving is the autograph um and it is five nail varnishes in here which is like a pinky light pinky nudie color uh bright red a burgundy brownie color and a gray color and then a nude color and i've got the gray one on right now and honestly these are amazing they're gel effects they look like you've got um gel fake nails on that you can get which is like £20 to buy but these are five nail varnishes for £15 in M&S I think and they stay on so well especially if you're using this is another thing I'm mentioning it is the Barry M base coat top coat and nail hardener all in one and this I just apply after I've done these I've just applied it on top of the nail and it just keeps on the nail varnish for a whole lot longer 
because my nail varnish chips off within a day which is ridiculous so this has really helped and it has not chipped off so much so I really do recommend this I think it's something like three or four pound for this and this set was 15 pound so in photography um, I'm doing a level photography and creative media and I done film photography in GCC and now I am doing it in A level we're getting to, we're getting into it this term and I've obviously done it before so I've got my own camera and I've got back into it so much and I just want to show you my camera this is definitely one of my favorites this month this is the Olympus OM10 I feel like I think Olympus was big back in the day but it is like vintage and it's so nice I just love the layout of the camera as well and I get like proper geeky when it comes to cameras and stuff to do with them. So I just love like cameras and like old fashioned cameras especially as I feel like nothing can beat old fashioned black and white film cameras because they take such beautiful photos that you can't get on DSLRs. So if you can afford one, I don't think that they're that pricey, it depends on the camera that you want to get but definitely try and get this. I have mentioned this before and I'm going to mention it again. This is the Body Shop Vanilla Bod Body Shop Vanilla Body Mist. I got this from Amy for Christmas. Honestly, amazing. I didn't want to use any of it because obviously Body Shop is amazing and I was too scared to use it, but that's why it hasn't really been used that much, but I have used it when I go out for meals and things on special occasions I wouldn't use it every day for college because it is such a nice smell and it really smells and stays on as well which is really good these now are like lipsticks I'm going to mention two of them are of course my MAC ones I'm at the moment I've only got two MAC lipsticks because I never really could afford it and I saved quite a bit of money for New York so I thought why not treat myself to some MAC so I got one in the airport and one in Mac store. If you watch my New York haul, you would know this. But, uh, so one of them is Velvet Teddy and the other one is Persistence. I got, they're both like nudie brownie colours because I really like those colours. I'm going more towards those colours at the moment, except I'm wearing red lipstick right now. But. I was just wanting to wear red lipstick. So they look quite similar. So this is Velvet Teddy and that is Persistence. They look so similar. If you could see um, them in real life, Persistence is slightly more brown than Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy is more orangey, nudie colour and Persistence is more of a brownie colour where I wear Persistence on a night out and Velvet Teddy for my everyday because I feel like I don't want to wear brown, like dark brown on like a night, like a day out so that's why I use it at night and I keep them in the packet still because I just love it. If you know me well you would know that this is bound to be mentioned in this video of course um, I have been wanting this so bad for so long. I tried getting this product before and it sold out in 16 minutes and I didn't manage to get it. So the second time she released it, I was at my hairdresser's house and I was waiting to get it and I managed to get it and it sold out in 15 minutes. And this is Kylie Jenner's lip kit. Oh, I can't believe I actually got it. I'm going to do a video on it, I think, um, specifically. But I got Dolce K. And it comes with the lip liner and the lip gloss. The lip gloss is actually really heavy. And it looks like this. It smells like candy as well. It smells so nice. And uh, if you're want wanting to get True Brown or Dolce K, and wanting to get the nudie brownie colours, which are my favourite at the moment, and you're, you've got quite fair skin, I would definitely go for Dolce K because True Brown is so dark. I feel like it only suits like darker skin tones so like black people or mixed race people. So that's why I've 
got the Dolce K and Dolce K actually comes out quite brown as well and it stays on for so long I can have my dinner and a drink and everything and it will still stay on which is brilliant I can't find any other lipstick that does it it is quite pricey it's like £30 but that's including postage and mine came within th five days from USA which is amazing so I really do recommend these and they're just amazing the lip liner as well Amazing. So yeah, I've mentioned quite a bit in my March favourites and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to include more as I didn't in my February favourites so I hope you liked it. So thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you next Friday at half 7pm. Bye!